What is up everybody? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully it is good. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I know everybody out there is loving Halloween Horror Nights, especially this year. Whoa, bro. They got Stranger Things and Waffles. Whoa. Killer Clowns. Oh my God, Killer Clowns. Cupcakes. Pizza fries, bro. Pizza fries. Pizza fries. But I think it goes of a disservice that Halloween Horror Nights is at the top. Obviously, they are the number one, you know, haunted experience, haunted houses, Halloween. But I wanted to present at least five alternatives to Halloween Horror Nights that are not only cheaper and they're also probably scarier than Halloween Horror Nights. So without further ado, we are going to get to the first one, which is Hollow Scream, which is a theme park-esque a haunted event, much like Halloween Horror Nights, but it is far, far, far cheaper than uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, their single night tickets start off at $39.99. They also have a Wild and Wicked weekend ticket starts at $104, and that grants you access throughout the whole weekend. So like a Friday, a Saturday, Sunday. Also, they have unlimited Scream ticket which is only 99 bucks and you can go pretty much every single night of the event and they also have fright feast which is pretty insane for 30 bucks you get a buffet style meal you get exclusive preview of friends so you can knock that out right off the bat and you also get front of the line pass until 8 30 p.m so you can knock out at least two or three houses with that so 30 bucks on top of a single ticket, you're doing already much cheaper than what it would be at Halloween Horror Nights. And also their event this year features two new haunted houses, uh, Insomnia, and one is called Simon Slaughterhouse, which is a 17 plus older house, which is said to be very, very gory. Um, they also have all new scare zones this year, including one that has a parade. I can't recommend Hollow Scream enough. I loved it the two times that I've been and I am planning to go back next year, hopefully, hopefully. And if you're also wondering how far is it to get to some of these, I'm going to tell you in location as from Universal Studios to where to get to these locations as far as time-wise. So, so Hollow Scream, you're looking at about an hour to get to the park from Universal, about an hour. Keep in mind with traffic and whatnot, it could be like an hour, hour and 10, hour and 20, but roughly about an hour. Up next, we have Scream Again. It's located about an hour and 30 minutes away. It's not a big theme park kind of haunt. Don't let that fool you. Uh, it's featuring six haunted houses, uh, five that comes Witcher ticket. The extra one is the zombie paintball assault. And for that, you're gonna need an extra ticket. But some really cool stuff is that it is $19.95 through $34.95, depending on the night. Uh, it varies as far as the times. They're usually open on the weekends. Uh, you know, Thursdays, some nights, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are pretty much guaranteed. They also have a lot of cool stuff, like a lot of different areas you can hang out, monsters walk around. Uh, there's lots of food carts, food vendors, drinks, all sorts of like activities. So it's not just like you do the houses and then you leave. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can check out there. Scream again, links to everything will be down in the uh, description box. Up next, we have down in Jacksonville, we have the next three haunts that I'm going to be talking about. We have Haunt Nights. And if you're wondering where is this located, we have, it is about two hours and 20 minutes from uh, Universal Studios to here. Um, so now you pretty much know why traveling to Orlando is pretty expensive. Tiring on the mindset as far as traveling from there, the, from here to there, from there to back. It's gonna run you about two hours and 20 minutes to get to this location. 
But the cool thing is if you're in town and you want to go to Hot Nights, you can come a little bit early and it's located a little bit from the beach. So maybe about 15 minutes away from the Jacksonville beach. So you can go and hang out there, grab some drinks, some food, and then go back to uh, Hot Nights if you're here early enough. So Hot Nights, uh, it's a, it's an interesting haunt. It's, it's kind of relatively new. It's only been around, I think, for at least a couple years. Um, and what they have this year, they have new haunts. They have Dark Fables, uh, Pinehurst Asylum. We have Pain, Manor, and Descent. And a combo tickets for that run for $26.99. And they have a combo ticket plus the attraction, which is $32.99. And the attraction means you can also get a go-kart or you can get a mini golf added on as well. And they also have a fast pass, which is 10 bucks. 10 bucks, you can't beat that. All of these uh, options, all of them from Hollow Scream to Scream Again, Hot Night, and the other two I'm gonna mention, they all have fast passes or skip the line or front of the line, whatever they decide to call it, they all have that option. You know, you're already saving a few bucks uh, from Horror Nights with these kind of haunts. So if you have the extra funds, by any means, some of them are really, really cheap. So up next, we have 31 Warehouse Unleashed, which is a really, really popular hunt. It's been around for a good amount of years. It started off in St. Augustine. Then it moved a little bit elsewhere, I think up north, and then they came back to now to their permanent location as far as it's been there for at least the last year or so. Um, it features four haunted houses. It has Slaughter Circus, Mr. Tasty's Meat Factory. <laughs> uh, we have Dark Waters and Lockdown. And the prices for that is Sunday through Thursday is $24.99 and Friday through Saturday it is $29.99. It is extreme haunt. Um, there is a fast pass if you would like to skip the lines. Just be aware that some of these haunts that I am naming, they're not for the faint of heart. They are pretty extreme as far as like, they're really in your face. Sometimes they will touch you. Like a scream again, I think they do have some houses that they, that they will touch you. They will push you. They'll do th things to you. Um, that didn't really sound right, but you know what I mean. Uh, at 31 uh, Warehouse and Hot Night, they won't touch you, but they, they will get in your face. I mean, it's they're, they're really trying to scare you. And last but not least, we have 13th Floor, which is a really, really popular haunted house. If you know anything about haunted houses, uh, 13th Floor has been all around they've have locations in all of like texas a few different spots and they're like top 10 haunted houses if you're looking for an experience unlike anything else at least as far as florida concerned uh they're brand new this year they've chosen jacksonville as their location at least their starting location and it runs from the price of $19.99 through $39.99 on Saturdays mostly is when the price goes up. It features three haunted houses. Legend of the Saw, Dead End District, and Cursed Voodoo. As far as the like look, as far as the built, um, definitely check them out. I think, you know, they're going to blow people away. So... Check them out, 13th floor. Uh, like I said, links to everything will be down in the description box below. And that has been it for this look at five alternative haunted houses to Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, like I said, this list was, you know, not everything is going to match the level of Halloween Horror Nights, but it will save you some money. I mean, Halloween Horror Nights is just getting ridiculously with the prices. It is insane to go to that event, especially if you're only going just one night. I mean, if you're going multiple nights, wow. Do you have any alternatives yourself? Leave them down in the description box or any other haunted houses you plan on uh, perhaps visiting other than Halloween Horror Nights this year. Leave them down in the comment section. Leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys on another video very, very soon. Adios, good night.